one of the main usages of computers since they were created, and one of the reasons why they were created at all, has been to perform mathematical operations, to perform calculations between different numbers. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to do simple mathematical operations using JavaScript. We're going to cover addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. By the end of the lecture, I'll implement what we've learned into a simple unit converter so that you can see it in action. Let me begin by adding in some JavaScript code in here. And I'm going to start by typing in a comment. Comments are messages that you leave in your code for other human beings or your future self to read and understand what that code does. So it is a good practice to always comment your code, to write and explain what you're doing. When, when you read other people's code, you will see how that makes it a lot easier to follow and to understand. To do, to enter um, comments in JavaScript, you type two four slashes, and then you can type in anything you want. So I'm gonna write in addition, because that's the first operation that we're gonna work with. I'm gonna create a variable called a, which will have a value of 1000. And I want to know the result of the variable a plus 200. And I'm going to store that in another variable called b. So I want to assign this, the, 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 the addition between 1000 and 200 in the variable b. To assign a variable, as we've learned, you will use the equal sign. And if we want to do an addition, we will type in a, which is the name of the variable, plus and the number. That will give us the result, which we can easily show on a message box. Let's reload the page and execute it. So as you can see, that gives us the correct result. You can also add in more numbers in here, and that would work perfectly fine as well. And you could also have just different variables being added together or just numbers being added together. I don't want to have this shown each time as we move on, so I'm going to comment this line out. To comment code out, is, it means to convert a line of code into a comment so that it's, it stays around, but it's not executed. It's treated as text, as text for human beings to read. Let's look now into subtraction. Let's create a new variable, and this one will have the value of, let's say, 100 minus 50. So that's how we can subtract two numbers, by using the minus sign. And we can easily show that on a message box. You can obviously combine the two, um, the two operations and also combine the ones that we'll add um, below. Multiplication call it m, and let's say that this will be c times 10. So this one here gave, gave us 50 as a result, and 50 times 10 should give us 500. So this one will show the value of m. Let's reload this page, and you can see the 500 in there. Division. Division works in, the, in a similar way. Um, all we need to do is use the four slash sign. Let's divide 500 by two and show that result on a message box. Let's comment that one out so we don't see it each time. 250, half of the value of that number. Cool. You can also combine all of them together. And I'm gonna show you which ones take preference when you do that. Let's call this one combo and it will be say 100 plus 50 divided by 2 um, times 10. So the way it works when you do these sorts of things, they could be the number literals like I'm doing here or variables. Number literals are, is the name when you just enter a number like this. Um, what happens here is that multiplications and divisions are are executed first. So this part is the first thing that's going to be executed. And then the rest will be added. So this will give us 25 times 10, that will be 250. 
and then 250 plus 100 will be 350. Let's show that on an alert box, 350. Now, what if you wanted this to be done first and then divided by two and then multiplied or, or have the other operations performed? Then you have to use brackets. Whatever you put inside the brackets gets executed first. So in this case, this will be executed first. This will give us 150. And then 150 divided by two is 75 times 10. That's uh, 750. So that's the result that we get in that case. So you can use the brackets to organize your operations in the way that you want. And now to finish this up, I'm gonna implement a simple calculator that will convert from Celsius degrees to Fahrenheit degrees. And I've already found the formula for this on the internet. So I'm gonna copy and paste it on this, on this comment. So the value in Celsius is multiplied by nine divided by five and then 32 is added. Let's create a variable to keep the Celsius. Celsius will be say 25 degrees Celsius. That's a nice sort of chilled hot weather. Um, and the value in Fahrenheit will be then, will be the value of in Celsius times nine divided by five. And by the way, I, these spaces are optional. I could have it all without spaces, but it just looks a bit nicer and then plus 32. I'm not using brackets here because this gets executed first and that's the way we wanted it to be. If we wanted the, this to be first or something like this, then we would have to use brackets. And let's end this by showing it on an alert box. So we get 77, that's the, the value in Fahrenheit for 25 Celsius um, degrees, degrees Celsius. So to summarize, one of the main reasons computer and programming and this whole thing really was created and invented was to perform mathematical calculations. Why? Because you can get exact results in no time. Um, the four main arithmetic operations that we've looked into are addition, just use the plus sign, subtraction, minus sign, multiplication, use the asterisk, division, four slash. Keep in mind the order in which operations are performed. So multiplications and divisions are always performed first. Addition and subtraction are performed afterwards. If you want to change that order in some way, or if you want to have control on how that's gonna be calculated, you have to use brackets in the same way that you would do in normal algebra, in high school algebra. Um, and we finished up by just putting this in, in, in practice. So now you can do, in, in if you want, you can, uh, create any sort of calculator, any sort of unit conversion, uh, like like the amount of uh, water you should drink a day and that sort of thing. Um, that can be all done with simple mathematical, simple arithmetic operations.